welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel today is the day that tomorrow by together's the name chapter temptation is finally out all this anticipation and excitement from november all the way to now like it's here it's finally finally here i've just been hearing so much talk about this album i did not hear the album preview at all uh in honor of the album uh, i have this pink shirt on i have these green pants and my socks are white <laughs> you definitely can't say that i didn't get the memo okay i'm done talking we're gonna get right into this album so the first song is devil by the window i've been hearing a lot about this song so yeah let's see what this is all about <laughs> Almost kind of reminds me of Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Their voices? It does sound very like tempting. This pre chorus. Oh, his voice here. Dream on good night. <laughs> It sounded like they were singing English for like most of the song. They kept saying dream on good night. Definitely looking forward to reading the lyrics. If you're gonna name an album Temptation and start the album with a name like Devil by the Window and then have it sounding like that, that's a great intro. <laughs> like their intros for their albums, like they really do set the mood for what's to come with this album. Sonically introducing the concept of the album. Their voices on this song, haunting and just very mysterious. Like I said, it just sounded very tempting. I think the Korean title of this song has something to do with like hearing the devil's voice like at midnight by the window and it sounded sweet or something like that. I can't remember the, the exact um translation they're being tempted they're being pulled in this was definitely a good intro and like i said it really sets the mood for the album all right i'm skipping sugar rush ride because i already heard the song and i gave my thoughts on it i watched the video so you can go check that out so we're going to happy fools featuring koi laray miss blick blick miss no more parties miss fly miss players <laughs> i'm really looking forward to see how her voice sounds on this so let's get into it Kind of reminds me of like smooth jazz. Oh, never mind. <laughs> From Yunjun to Subin? Taehyun. It does sound happy. Oh, 
Bon Bio. Cool. Bungie's voice. <laughs> oh, her voice with whoever's singing. Is it all of them or is it just like a couple of them? I hear that vocal in the background. What, what did Cor LaRae say? Like, TXT and Cor, we gonna get a pop of like balloons. So <laughs> That's what they did on the song. It just sounded very happy and, you know, very foolish. Now, now foolish meaning just like having fun. Her voice really accompanied the melody well. Uh, and then that one part, like towards the end when she was singing with, I don't know if it was all of them or just like one or two members, but yeah, it sounded really good. I'm really wondering how this collaboration came to be because you have an artist like Koi and then an artist like Tamara together. So it's like, how did we get here? Like how, how did this come to light? But no, this was a good collaboration. Their voices, like in the beginning from Yeonjun to Subin, that was good. Hyunin Kai's voice, I heard Taehyun, I heard Bumgyu. Bumgyu's voice, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just very special. You know that's Bumgyu singing and he just adds almost kind of this certain ingredient to their songs, like when you hear him sing. Overall, it's a very good collaboration. I'm definitely wondering and looking forward to like how this came to be. Collaborations like this don't happen nowadays. Like they, they just don't. This next song is Tinnitus. <laughs> or Wanna Be A Rock. I've been hearing so much talk about this song too, so we about to see what this song is about. Okay, it's reminding me of the islands. Oh my gosh, Young June. This part just makes you move. Like if you put this on at some sort of party in Jamaica or Barbados, like they're gonna be like, <laughs> they're just gonna be doing that. I'm getting flashbacks to when I first heard "We Lost the Summer" because "We Lost the Summer" is very tropical sounding. Tonight is like it sounds very tropical, it sounds very islander, and you have the whole like want it, want it, want it. They sounded very calm on this song. I guess if we are going to relate it back to the concept of being tempted. Them sounding very calm, you definitely settled into temptation. There might be some sort of like realization like wait I need to get out of here basically. Fight and resist this temptation. I know I said this about Bum You have like this extra ingredient for like their songs but now all of their voices for sure. Their voices get on a song. It really does accompany 
the melody and instrumentals so beautifully. This is just the versatility of Tomorrow by Together. We're at the last song now, which is Farewell Neverland. <laughs> Oh, Suman's voice here. From Suman to Bum Hill. Neverland, my love. A ukulele though but i think it was an acoustic guitar maybe just like what i said with the previous song tinnitus about having this realization to get out of temptation and resist it this is farewell neverland so here like they definitely realized that we have to say goodbye to neverland and our fantasy eventually we definitely can't stay here like there's definitely like another world out there that we clearly live in and time is not stopping there get back to reality basically the the way how the melody was, it's something that you hear and you just basically like cruise and move along to this point of, you know, being tempted, falling out of temptation. There's no like big bombastic grand piece of music here. The fact that it's Farewell Neverland too, like I'm just thinking about their Farewell concert photos. <laughs> this is a good closing song to the album. You were definitely taken on a ride. Sugar Rush Ride. <laughs> this album went by fast. <laughs> I said that about many so two Thursdays child five songs and they're all really short. Great songs regardless with the name chapter Temptation really did sonically embody the feeling of being tempted. I'm just thinking about like where they'll go like with the name chapter now. They were tempted, where do we go from here? Like are we gonna face reality after this? I'm not worried about the future right now, like I'm here to enjoy this body of work. Five very talented, brilliant boys. <laughs> I think another highlight from this album, it was really consistent and cohesive. I think I said this in my album reaction to Minnesota 2. Their albums like in the past previous to Minnesota 2, of course like they all stuck to like the concept but there will be like, different topics within the songs that they'll talk about. Minnesota 2 and definitely with like the name Chapter Temptation, it was really cohesive and it stuck with overall topic. Like Minnesota 2 was about heartbreak and this is about being tempted. Definitely cohesive with the sound too. Sonically speaking, not that they sounded the same. All the songs pretty much fell into one genre. I mean, of course, like TXT, like they're very versatile and they experiment with different genres, of course. This album was sonically more consistent. I'm really happy that this is out. I'm happy that we're seeing a different side of TXT now. Growing as the artist that they are meant to be experimenting with different sounds, different concepts. 2019 tomorrow by together, like the five boys that are singing about horns were on my head, but I love it. Like they would never see themselves here talking about temptation and 
it's so sweet but I should find my name and the devil said like give me more that was not in their vision at all now they're here and yeah I'm just really proud of them I really am like I'm happy for them proud of them but yeah I think I'm just gonna conclude the video here I can't wait to see where they'll go with the title track and for this album they've simply done it again <laughs> tomorrow by together if you like this reaction make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below your favorite songs on this album your thoughts on this album on that note I'm out bye